What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on. In this video, man, today, we're going to do a reaction video to Malo's mom. Malu's mom attacks her and calls the motherfucking police. Okay. So uh, I think it was a situation to where mother was drunk. Okay. And that's pretty much all I know about the situation. But we're going to react to this together. If you've already seen this, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure that you do like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. Tell a friend to tell a friend to the angel mom, tell their uncle Joe he's still a hoe. Let's get right into this video, man. Let's get it. Malu recently went live and had an explosive argument with her mom and stepdad. The argument started after her mom and stepdad got drunk and called the police after Malu broke something. Well, Malu, why are you breaking shit, bro? Why are you breaking shit, ma'am? We need answers. Damn, they're loud in the back, though. I'm guessing maybe they she broke something out of frustration because them niggas loud as fuck. All right. <laughs> I would hate to live in an environment like that when my parents are steady bickering and going at each other, arguing, yelling at each other and all that type of shit, man. Malu, I know she's still a child, but golly, man, I hate it for these kids who got to grow up around these toxic ass, unhealthy environments. At least take that shit out the house somewhere where your daughter or son does not experience that. Oh, she told y'all. Where's Google Translator when you need They're it? drunk as fuck, calling the police. This is so funny. These people are so fucking rich. And then they wonder why I'm fucking toxic. Damn. She She's speaking truth, though. They did us calling the police because I broke something because I'm mad at them because they can't take me out to get some fucking fries. What? Hold on, Malu. Okay, now you sound entitled as fuck. All right? You're breaking shit because you they wouldn't take you to get some fucking French fries, bro. Really? But I say all that to say that is more about attention than it is about them fucking french fries okay she's still a kid and i feel like her parents obviously just get drunk and forget about her and get into these arguments okay and she doesn't feel relevant she doesn't feel like she's getting the attention that a child should she's not getting the attention or love that a parent should be giving their child because it seems like her mom is too invested in his stepdad you know to even take time to care for her child so her way of acting out is breaking shit. Yeah, it might seem like a petty thing to break shit over, but she's breaking shit over something bigger than that. You got to see the big picture of this, okay? She's breaking shit because she doesn't feel loved. She doesn't feel cared for. She's crying out for attention, all right? That's all she wants is some quality time that she's definitely not getting as we can see. And they're telling the police that he consumes cocaine and that they're drunk as fuck. Who the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, wow. To talk? What type of shit is this? I don't know if you hear it. Yeah, we hear it. Watch the police come. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not gonna be my fault. It ain't your fault, honey. The drunk is for calling the police saying that shit. Alcohol is poison, yo. And I'm not saying you can't indulge in alcohol from time to time, but know your limits, man. There's no reason why you should have 10 shots of anything, okay? I went through my own bouts with alcohol and just overdoing it. One drink, two drinks, cool, maybe even three on a good night. But you don't need 10, 15 drinks. You don't need to actually get drunk, drunk. You know, for what purpose? You're going to feel like shit the next day anyway. That should tell you that you're ingesting poison, bro. You're ingesting demons. Demonic, lower, negative vibration. Negative vibrations, negative energy. You're allowing yourself to be a portal, to open, up, open yourself up 
to negative spirits. That's why they call liquor spirits, alcohol spirits, bro. It's not for no reason. It's because spirits can inhabit your body. Okay? And with your consent, because you chose to drink it. <laughs> you chose to drink it. Therefore, if they choose to inhabit your body, that's on you. It's so sad because the kid is now having to act like the parent. The kid is acting more like a parent than the parents. I don't know what she's saying, but she's going ham. <laughs> She going off. Tell her, girl. Tell her. So sad because she's arguing with the stepdad, bro. Not even the mother. She's talking about her mom or something like that. Her mom doesn't seem to be the issue. It's the stepdad. And mom, you are not being a mom right now. You're allowing your child to argue with her stepdad, okay? And you're too drunk to stop it or interfere in any type of way. This is sad. Bro. I wish I knew what she was talking about, yo. Mm. Mm. 
start screaming, and then my anger comes. Because I'm not supposed to be, okay? Yeah. Let oh, go baby. fuck. Pick me up, bitch. She needs a parent that loves her, you know, and shows their love for her. She's crying out for attention right now. She's crying out for somebody to care. Pick me up. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and now I'm supposed to be okay. This bitch has lied to me about who my real dad is. And I still forgave her. This bitch has still money for me. And I still forgive her. This bitch makes drama every fucking day of my life. And I still forgive her. And she keeps going. It's like nonstop. She's fucking childish. Childish. Thanks. Childish. 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 And she called the cops. This is how you know they're fucked up. She calls the cops to tell them that his fucking um husband has cocaine and I threw it away because I don't want to have that shit in my house and that they're drunk and I'm mad and I broke some shit. Who the fuck calls the cops? I'm like, you gotta be out of your fucking mind. And then I'm supposed to be all right. And then I'm supposed to be all right. Right. I'm supposed to be all right with my own fucking mom that nobody knew I smoke says that shit. Says that shit. Like the fuck, bitch, you buy that shit for me because I pay the bills. What the fuck are you gonna do? You have nothing else to fucking do. You've never worked in your fucking life. You've lied to me about my life my whole life and now my fucking father is in jail. So like, what the fuck is your problem? Mm, 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 mm. Stop baby. fucking calling me. Stop fucking calling me. And this drama, drama over no reason, drama over no reason. People are fucked up in their head, and I never noticed. And everybody was like, "Oh, you should get out of your house. You should emancipate yourself. You should do this." But if I would have emancipated myself, my mom probably would have gone to jail, and everybody in fucking around me would have probably gone to jail. So that's why I never emancipated myself, and I stuck around to take care of her. When all the fucking men that were coming in and out of her fucking house would come, right? I'm fucking tired of that shit, bro. I don't do nothing wrong. I've never liked her. I've never got out of the house. I've never done shit in my life. Nothing. Nothing. And I'm so glad I'm turning 18 in fucking 20 days because I cannot live here. Facts. Anymore. That's I what I was saying. I can't, I can't be happy. That's exactly what I was saying, man. She needs to get her own place. I'm glad that she is turning 18 so she can get her own fucking place, man. Because she can then have the choice to live somewhere else and not be disturbed by this foolishness, this nonsense, okay? It's nonsense. You have to raise somebody who's not a child. She's basically taking care of and raising her own fucking mother, bro. This is sad. <laughs> this is sad, y'all. Honestly. And it makes me have a whole nother respect and love for my freaking mother, man. My mother is fucking awesome. Awesome. If you have a lit mother, not lit like this, but if you have a mother who truly cares for you, shows you, is generous, loving, supportive, man, cherish her. Cherish her. Literally, cherish her, man. They're not all built the same. They're not. So if you have a mother in your life, who truly genuinely genuinely cares for you, supports you, loves you unconditionally, and shows you how great of a daughter you are, a son you are, man. Cherish your mother, period. Because there's mothers out there like hers who ain't worth a damn, to be honest. They're not. They're lost. Kids raising kids. Yeah, wake up and there's something wrong. If she's drunk, she makes up a fucking fight, starts throwing doors, and then she, she has the nerve, she has the nerve to fucking tell me, oh, why you breaking shit? Because that's the only way I get attention, because y'all motherfuckers are fucked up in the head. What did I tell you, man? It was a cry for help, a cry for attention, bro. I be knowing what the fuck I'm talking about. Y'all motherfuckers are fucked up in the head. I'm not the one that's fucked up. I'm not the one that's fucked up. Oh, man. And I tell you guys this shit, because my dad, that I found out is my dad now. Is in fucking jail. I can't talk to her. I can't go, oh, dad, let me go to your crib. Because my mom is fucking acting crazy again. I can't do that shit. And I cannot most definitely talk to my mom. Because talking to her is a manipulative. I don't know how the fuck you say that shit in English. It's a manipulative as fuck. Everything you say to her, she turns around and makes something else from your path. And you're like, fuck. Sounds like a snarky narc. Narcissist. She then posted these to her Instagram story. My family talks toxic as fuck. No wonder I'm like this. She did all that to make me look bad after everything she put me through to make a fool out of herself when they showed up. They were in, on my side. Now I know I ain't crazy. No, you're not. You're not. You're just trying to be a child and be loved by your parent. 
when your friend picks you up to feel better. Well, yeah, man. Look, like I said, it gives me a whole newfound respect for my mother when I see stuff like this. Shout out to all the wonderful mothers out there who are doing everything that they can to show their kid love, okay? Support, generosity, um, all of that, man, okay? Y'all mean everything to me and the world as a whole, okay? Look, um, I'm praying for Malu and her whole family. I wish that her father wasn't behind bars for the rest of his life so he could actually be somebody who can, you know, she can pull up on, like she said. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So prayers for the whole family, man. I'm out.